All right. Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for joining us to preview our match this Friday at Sporting KC2 at 7 p.m. Central Time. For today's press conference, we're joined by City 2 head coach John Hackworth. Please let us know in the chat if you'd like to talk, and we will call on you to ask your question. And now we'll get started with our first question from Jim Leaker. Hey, Coach, can you hear me? I can. How you doing, Jim? I'm doing fine. Uh, I'm on my cell phone. I didn't think I was going to be with you today. Uh, but I just wanted to say congratulations. I mean, that 90 minutes that you played up in Chicago, uh, from me viewing it on my cell phone, maybe the bigger, all overwhelming, and, and re they, they were just brilliant, and, and they just could, wouldn't give up. I mean, I, I was very impressed with the whole game. So I, I'd just like to get your opinion. Yeah, I feel the same way, Jim. Uh, really impressed with our team. Um, we talk about being relentless, um, in particular against the ball. I thought we were relentless when we had it. Um, you know, attacking often, um, turned them over in some dangerous spots, got to goal. Uh, so really proud of the team. Got some young guys, uh, some really valuable minutes. Um, as well, and, and really proud of the overall team performance because that's the third game in, in a week. Yeah, uh, with the second you know city that we've been in coming down from altitude in Denver. So yeah, probably our, our overall our, our best and complete performance. Yeah, and I love the picture uh, at, at the scoreboard uh, five zero. <laughs> so I'll I'll let you I'll let you go. Uh, I'm out, in a, I'm out in the heat right now. So I, I really want to congratulate you and good luck on the next game. All right. Stay hydrated and, and find some shade, Jim. All right. Yeah, will do. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everybody. All right. Our next question will be from Guy Bensing. Um, I want to go off of Jim's. First of all, that was very a very impressive win. Um, I loved the way that uh, the crosses were set up and the corner kicks, especially the one that just hit off the bar, the first corner kick that hit off just the bar. I mean, you couldn't get any closer than that. On the surface, it looked like a perfect win, but I love the undercurrent of a game. What in the undercurrent did you see that can be improved on as you get ready for your second uh, Show Me State matchup? Well, I think we... <clears throat> In analyzing that game, we were really dominant for 20 to 25 minutes. And then we had a period where we kind of backed off and we gave Chicago a lot of time and space. And that, you know, we corrected that at halftime, really pleased with the second half. But we have to be able to to finish, you know, a half and, and be consistent in it. So I wasn't really pleased with that 25 to 45 minute stretch there. Because I did, I think we went away from our, our basic principles. We didn't give up much, um, but during that stretch, I thought we gave them too much time and space. Yeah, it, it, I, I, I'm with you. I, I saw that too. I saw a lot of midfield play in that, in the, I guess the last 20 minutes of the first and the first 10 minutes of the second. And then it kind of shifted to where it was more of an offensive play, or if they were in your defensive zone, um, you guys were keeping them to the outside or taking the cross away. I saw a couple of crosses that you guys were right there when the cross went. Yeah, we pride ourselves on on preventing balls uh, played into, you know, a dangerous area. And that's just part of, you know, when we go to put pressure on our opponents, we need to, it needs to be real pressure. Um, you can't allow them the ability to, to play a dangerous ball or a penetrating pass. And uh, again, we're getting better at that. Um, and it was great against Chicago because we really didn't give them uh, any more chances uh, past the first half. But, uh, you know, we always look at it and think there's room to improve. Uh, one last question. Any concerns with the two yellow cards? Um, no, uh, just yellow card accumulation. This time of year does become uh, something that we have to manage. Um, so a player that gets five yellow cards during the season has to sit out the next game. That's in fact what happened uh, to Ezra Armstrong. He had to miss the, the Chicago game because of accumulating his fifth against Colorado. Uh, thank you. And again, thank you so much for holding me a little bit later in the afternoon. We did this just for you. All right. I had a feeling, so I had to make sure I was here. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. 
I even changed, you can't see it, but I changed my background. I have the city background now. <laughs> All right, let's go city. Thanks, coach. No problem, thank you. All right, our next question will be from Santiago Beltran. Hi, John. Um, thinking about Sporting KC2, uh, you already played them this season. So a couple of things, does that help you with game planning and what can you expect from this Sporting KC2 team? Yeah, anytime you play a, a team for the second time in a season, both teams have, you know, intimate knowledge of each other. Um, and so when we've looked back at the games, you know, they've improved. Um, they've been on a good streak. They beat Houston one nothing uh, last Saturday. Um, so we know we're going back to um, sporting the second time. We're going a little odd that we're going back to their place twice um, before they visit us. Um, but we know it's going to be a tough road trip and we know we're going to get our, the very best from our opponent. And I think that's been something that has been consistent this year. We've gotten the best out of our opponents. They've changed some things systematically and we need to just be ready and prepared for all those. Um, but I know Benny Fallhaber um, and Ike Kapara, the two coaches there, uh, are doing an excellent job preparing their players. You know, they've shuffled a lot of first team players in and out of their team. So we expect tomorrow to, to be a really, you know, tight, very highly contested game, um, probably a, of a little more physical nature. If you watch the first one, it was it was tough. Um, and that's what these kind of rivalry games should be. So uh, we have to bring our best at the end of the day. And in terms of the three game stress that you guys just went through, how is the team uh, physically? Uh, any any injuries or any any guys who may not be available for Sporting Casey game? Yeah, it, it definitely took a little toll on us. Um, and right now we, we do have a couple of guys that are banged up, but I'm hopeful that everybody um, is going to be available uh, for tomorrow. Um, and, and we'll just have to evaluate, you know, our medical staff is currently working pretty hard uh, to try to get those guys ready. And, and we just came off the training field. So have a couple guys with some question marks on them. But again, we feel good about our squad. We're deep. Uh, you know, we've showed our, our rotation uh, in the last week. And, and that's another real positive after last week, you know, knowing that we can rotate a lot of players uh, in and out probably be important tomorrow. Thanks, John. Thank you. All right. And then we have a few questions submitted from Tom Timmerman. Um, the first one is with the extreme heat that we've had this week during practice. How have you guys been coping with that? And how will you cope with that for the game tomorrow night? The, the heat has been um, difficult this week, but thank goodness there has been a breeze. Uh, so the wind has cooled off a little bit and, and made it not as bad as maybe the, the temperature would make it seem. We train in the morning and it has been better in the morning than it has in the afternoon. Uh, and then we've just tried to make sure that our athletes are, you know, hydrated, that, that the nutrition pre and post training is on point. Um, so, you know, our staff, again, tries to take care of all those little details. And so far, uh, so good. We have shortened uh, the training sessions this week um, just to make sure that we weren't exposed too much to that heat. The next question is, how does it feel after three, uh, three games in one week? How does it feel to be getting back on somewhat of a normal playing schedule? Well, it, it's good. It's it's nice to have, you know, we had a proper day off uh, this week, which was great. Um, and uh, at the same time, you know, we're playing a Friday night game. So that throws your, your schedule, your normal weekly schedule off a little bit. Um, but the reality is that we feel good about where we are, our health, um, as much from a mental standpoint as anything. Um, and we've been good. I think we've been really professional on these business trips, as we call them. And uh, we'll look to try to continue to do so. All right. And we kind of touched on this a little bit, but one, the last question is um, the main themes that you really liked seeing out of the three games last week. I really like the fact that we're trying to play by our principles, um, whether it was Colorado and they were playing with first team players, you know, we, we tried to put them under pressure. We tried to regain possession, um, you know, high up the field. We tried to go to goal. 
Um, I love the fact that when we gave up the goal in, in Colorado, our, our resolve was to go right back down the field and, and score uh, what should have been the game winner, barring some questionable decisions by uh, uh, somebody else on the field. So uh, I think there's a lot of positives. And then finally, I really like the fact that our young guys uh, got valuable minutes and played important roles. You look at like Carson Gibbs started both the Colorado um, and Chicago games. Uh, Sergio Rivas played really well, gets his first goal against Chicago, you know, ends up being the game winner. Those two combined for that first goal. So a lot of positives from us as we build our depth and, and expose, you know, some young guys to the professional level. And, you know, nothing did that better than trying to play an MLS uh, proper first team in, in Colorado. Awesome. All right. We will go ahead and close out for today there. Thanks to everyone for joining us today to preview the match for tomorrow night against Sporting KC2. Thank you.